Okay, this is a quick video uh, demonstrating the haunted dice tower. What I've done here is I've kept the tower separate from the dice tray. So what you can do is you can just kind of set this aside and you can use it for gaming terrain if you want. Or if you want to use it for a, uh, for a dice tower, you can just kind of set it on top, of the, uh, on top of the tray that we've got here. Uh, let me just kind of demonstrate how this, uh, how this works. Uh, most any dice I think will go through it and the dice you know just drop them down through the top of the tray and the garden wall holds it pretty well so um, I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way here um, I was afraid that the dice might you know like kind of bounce over the tray but they don't seem to do that you know it's possible I might have been able to make this wall slightly shorter but I was really afraid the dice were gonna fly out and you can scoot this thing as far back as you want uh, you know, so you can kind of make it a little easier to reach in, but it rolls the dice pretty well. Now here's kind of a quick pan around of the uh, of the dice tower with it being on the dice tray here. Uh, that's kind of what uh, that's kind of what it looks like all the way around, and you can see the uh, the boarded up windows, and um, that's that's kind of the way. Uh, here's the back the back end of it here, and that's kind of the full around on that. If I take the uh, tower off you can kind of see what the uh, what the tray itself looks like. That's kind of the uh, just the tray and you, and you don't have to I just kind of that's the uh, uh, felt kind of glued over on the edge and this is just stuck onto a piece of cardboard is all it is. You might find that you have to really reinforce the doors here because the dice go bouncing against this door. It has to be glued in really well to the sides so that it uh, doesn't like knock the door off. And here's finally uh, kind of a once around view of the uh, of the tower. Let's see we we'll start at the front here and then we go around to the left side and then around to the back side and then around to the side there and you can kind of look uh, it's kind of hard to see down in there it's pretty dark I've uh, uh, painted the tray both sides the top and the underside black because it's possible to look through this window and see the cardboard of the chute uh, if you don't paint both sides of that chute black but all of the plans are on the website to do this and it only takes 16 castings of mold number 344 to build this thing completely